Okay, I'm out in Edmonds looking at a project called the Edmonds Multi-Unit Project. And uh, this is new asphalt inside their parking lot. This would all be pave ready. Uh, so the contractor is going to have a compaction test done and um, have all the gravel ready. All we got to do is come in and pave it. And then we have to put in the striping as well. No extruded curb, just pavement and striping. And then out here, we need to do a 20 foot by, and I'm gonna, I'll get the measurements on it, but we gotta do a two inch grind and overlay out here. So it's about a 20 foot by 15 foot section that we, we would have to do a two inch grind and overlay. We'll also need to do the restoration on the asphalt in front of the curb and gutter, which is going to be about two feet. So I'll get the measurements on that for you here in just a second. Um, the uh, striping, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stalls uh, at 18 foot lengths. And then you have an ADA symbol. You've got crosshatch striping, which is 60 feet. We've got an ADA sign and post. And those uh, posts, I believe it's a round post. Two inch schedule 40 galvanized. So the ADA sign, we need to have a 12 by 18 ADA sign. And then we also need to have the six by 12 placard that goes underneath it that says van accessible. All right, other than that though, round post with a concrete footing, it's usually two bags. You got your round post, the schedule 40, and then you got a cap that goes on top. Uh, the cross hatching is yellow, so we need to put that in as yellow paint. The stalls are white. The crosswalk is a 12 inch by 5 foot bar, so that means there's 100 feet of 12 inch white painted crosswalk bars. All right, and um, let's throw in 20 feet of painted center line with a uh, reflectorized glass bead on it just in case right now as it sits we might only hit their skip lines down the middle of the road so i'm out in front of the property and that grind and overlay is going to be down here by the cones there's a small patch there that we'll probably have to dig up right now it's just a um well we'll go down and look at i gotta look at the city of edmund specs here but this patch right here is going to end up being it's about a four by three patch here. So I'm not sure how deep we need to go to cut this out and put it back, but we'll have to patch that first. And then there's curb and gutter going in. So it's tying in to the existing sidewalk and curb and gutter and it's coming down to here. So that means we've got 90 feet, uh, 90 feet by, I'd say approximately two. There's only gonna be a little bit of asphalt cut out right here, but we'll have to patch back all the way down so there'll be a 90 foot by two foot um patch to do they're cutting it all out they're prepping it all we got to do is put the asphalt back in so we'll have to patch the 90 by two this three by four and then right in here there's going to be a 20 foot where it goes 20 feet up and 15 feet across we'll have to do a two inch grinding overlay on here so that's why i was saying there might be a little bit of yellow to do on that and then uh, there'll actually be about 20 feet of white painted fog line to do on there as well. And we'll reflectorize that with glass bead. So make sure we add glass bead to it because everything that's painted out in the road needs glass bead. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. This is, uh, this is the parking lot. And they're going to be pouring concrete and all that here pretty soon. Getting all this ready to go. But this will all be pave ready okay and so we have to assume i believe it's three inches on here i'll provide the details on workman's dashboard once i'm able to look at the drawings that mark gave me and uh by the way it's slater homes is the general contractor and as far as staging goes he said that all of these owners here these residents have been really cool and they said that we can park all along the side of this house that house this house this house we can use the side of the road here for staging. They said they were cool with it. And there's also a, a shoulder here 
on the yellow, but I'd rather see that we stay away from that and just utilize this area for staging. Okay. But like I said, on Workman's dashboard, I'll have all the details um, as far as depth on the parking lot, striping, all of that will all be put in there.